I can't believe how many designers are still using WordPress to build their website when there are much better alternatives. My favorite one is Webflow. And in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly why I think it's much, much better. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, what is up? If you've ever watched my videos, you probably know I'm pretty passionate about Webflow and they have been sponsored a lot of my videos. So you might think I'm biased, but this video is not sponsored and I'm actually sharing my honest opinion why I started working with them, why I prefer them other um, over WordPress, which I have been using in the past and why I am so passionate that I actually have a course teaching people Webflow because I think it's the best solution. So let's dive right into it. The first reason why I think it's better is because it allows you to do fully custom design and do that without code. Now, I personally, as a designer, believe that in these day and age when clients can use, you know, templates or website builders like Wix or Squarespace themselves, you know, templates are just not enough. And I want to offer my clients fully custom design based on their needs. And so usually when working with uh, WordPress, it usually involves taking some kind of a template and then starting to mess, mess with it and adjust it because usually natively on WordPress, it's a template based platform, right? You can't really design custom stuff from scratch there. And to fully customize those templates requires a lot of code, requires really knowing and understanding all the widgets and, and, you know, nuggets or whatever bolts and, and screws of WordPress to really make sure that the, the template is customized the way that you want it. Now, so for me, this is really important. And this can be natively done very easily with Webflow. Now, some of you who are familiar with WordPress might tell me now, wait, but there are builders for WordPress, which allows you to do custom design. The most popular one is probably Elementor, which is by the way, a great company, they're based in Israel and I know them, they are my friends and I think they're doing a fantastic job. However, let me go on into the next points in this presentation and you'll understand that within the context of all the benefits of Webflow, this specific, I don't wanna work with a specific plugin within the ecosystem of WordPress. And for me, so for me, working with these type of tools to create custom design within WordPress is just not good enough. So here's my second point, with Webflow, you don't have setup. So there is completely no setup. You just jump into it, create a new website and start designing. With When I was working with WordPress, you always have to set up a new WordPress account, set up a hosting, you know, do all the create password and set up this whole website. And then later on, it's going to be, you're gonna have to move it to the client's hosting or give them credentials or something like that. This whole setup, this whole, dealing with infrastructure is not something that me, I, as a designer, I want to deal with. I want to do my work. I want to design the website and build it and make sure that they end up having an amazing website. I don't want to deal with all this technical infrastructure setup. And when I'm working with Webflow, it's completely transparent, right? I click a button to create a new website and I have a dashboard of all the websites that I work with because I do work with multiple clients and I have my own website. So I'm always working on multiple websites. I don't want to log in, log out and, you know, between different uh, WordPress websites. I want to have my own account, work on as many websites as I want. And when I finish them, I can either host them for my clients or just transfer the website to them. But it's really transparent. I don't have to deal with all the mechanics of running a WordPress website, which is for me, again, just a hassle. So I don't want to do that. Next point is that WordPress generates, um, because with WordPress, you're usually using either a builder or a lot of plugins to achieve the, you know, the functionality that you need, it ends up generating like a bloated code, which is usually just slower. When you're working with uh, Webflow, because everything is native, and you're literally just building, you know, HTML and CSS components, the code at the end ends up being much more clear and clean. Now, you know, again, I'm not a coder, I'm not a developer, why should I care about code quality? And the only reason I do care about code quality is just that the website runs faster. And I have seen, you can actually Google, I think Webflow site speed over Webflow or something like that. But I have read multiple articles that really shows you demonstrate the how faster the websites load when they have a cleaner code, which is the case on Webflow. So that's why I actually care about this. And this makes sense when you work with Webflow. Next point is that it comes with great hosting, right? And great hosting means that it's hosted on, 
scalable Amazon, the fastest servers. It, it, it contains uh, something that's called CDN, which is content delivery networks, which means that your images for the website are hosted on servers all around the world. And based on where you're loading the website, they're gonna pull in from the closest server so that the website runs the fastest. Now, all these features, you can get them on um, WordPress if you're using an external hosting. So again, you're gonna have to add another service on top of WordPress and host it with, I don't know, uh, WP Engine or one of these other services, which allows you for a great hosting. Now, for all these people, which is a comment that I hear a lot, oh, but Webflow's hosting is very expensive. I don't wanna host with them. I have my own hosting. So the point is that when you want, and most clients will end up wanting all these features like security, SSL, um, scalability in terms of when they're having a lot of traffic, they don't wanna pay extra. And all these things come default with the Webflow hosting that it just makes sense to, and it's so easy to host with them, the price ends up being exactly the same and it comes by default. You don't have to pay or host with another different service. And when we're talking about security, you know, <laughs> there's have been so many, you know, backdoors and, and you know, breaches to uh, WordPress website securities where they're pretty easily hackable because they are standard. So many people are using them. So many people know how to, you know, get into the admin and crack it. So many of the plugins that people are using and downloading, they're not really sure uh, that they are secure. And I personally had clients which I've built their website. They've turned it into, you know, a WordPress website and literally they just updated the wrong plugin, the whole website crashed and allowed people to hack into their website, which was a total mess. Now with Webflow, it's just the security is handled by Webflow, by their hosting, and it's literally uncrackable. So that's that's another kind of like for my clients, that's something that's super important and I don't have to pay attention to, I don't have to worry about this. This comes out of the box. So for me, this is an amazing, amazing added value. So next point is fully customizable CMS. So WordPress, you might know, is basically out of the box. It is a blogging platform. And that's how the whole system is based. You know, the, you have posts, you have, you know, the, the whole, you fill in those little forms. Um, and honestly, blog posts are not the only thing that is dynamic in a website. You know, for all the website that I build my clients, we are having a lot of other dynamic content, such as team members, such as events, such as, you know, uh, products and things that you want to allow your uh, customers to add to their website and edit and, and remove and manage their website without you. Now, if you want to do that with WordPress, again, this takes a lot of customization, usually with code, because it doesn't come out, out of the box. While in Webflow, you structure the, you know, the, the, um, the, you actually define how you want the CMS to be. So it can be like a structure for a blog post that has a title, that has author, that has the post, but it can also be a structure that is right for an event, such as location, such as links, such as price, whatever. So this is something that just makes the whole website much more dynamic, much more easy to update for the website. And again, you don't have to customize it with code. You just build this out of the box. So this is an amazing, amazing added value. Now, one more thing that I hear tons of people talk about when I think it is it is a myth or a bullshit is that a WordPress, Google loves WordPress website. I think this is completely not validated by any proof. I have not seen that. Um, and Webflow allows you for all the native um, SEO tools out of the box. So you can add the, the meta tags, you can add the alt tags, everything that is necessary to create. You can define the link structure. So you can really... Um, you can really build great, efficient uh, SEO website that Google loves that will rank higher out of the box without using a third party tool, without using kind of a plugin or something like that. Um, and so just the, the, the assumption that WordPress is better for SEO is not based on reality. I have not seen any proof. On the contrary, I have seen multiple articles showing that, you know, after a, a WordPress website was transitioned into Webflow, it actually ranked higher on Google. So this is, I just think this is kind of this urban myth that people talk about just because most websites on the internet are on WordPress. So it's kind of a common assumption that it's better for SEO, but it is not. I have not seen any proof that this is 
true. And one of the last points is that it allows for a great editing experience for my client. So Webflow allows the editor, which basically allows your client to edit their website visually. So instead of going into this kind of a form, and I have not seen anybody that any client that really enjoys updating their website on WordPress, right? Everything is kind of with the ugly old dashboard that has all these forms and you have to find the right field to update with Webflow. It's just it's visual, right? You go on the page, you click on the title that you want to edit, you type in the new text and bam, it's it's edited. So it's much, it's much more, you know, better user experience, seamless, faster and more enjoyable. So that's, you know, clients love that. At the end of the day, like it's, it's it for me, it's the matter of speed, right? Because speed as a freelancer, for me, speed equals profitability, right? So for me, I can build websites much, much faster when all I have to focus on is go to Webflow, build the actual website, click publish, done. And at the end of the day, you know, remove it, um, transfer it to my client's account if I want to, and then we're, we're done. I don't have to deal with the infrastructure. I don't have to deal with hosting. I don't have to deal with plugins. I don't have to deal with all these other things around it, different different apps for builders or, or again, plugins or something like that. I can focus on my own job as a designer, which is to build the website, make sure that it looks beautiful, that it works, that all the functionality is there and I'm done. So for me, it's way, way faster. I'd love to hear your opinions, especially if you're a, a WordPress person and you think that it's better or why you're not making the move. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you on the next video.